Hey guys, Sandy Chase, Potpourri House. Hope you're having a great day. I have been promising to do a tutorial video about how we make some of our bows. And so this is the first of a few of them that we're gonna make and share with you guys. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of pre-cut uh, ribbon in front of me and I've got more to the side because this is called a funky or a crazy bow. Super easy to make, it makes a big bang on anything you do. You could do it on a wreath, you could do it on a package if you wanted to. This time, the purpose we're gonna do, we're gonna make one for the top of this tree that's behind me. Now the neat thing is, um, is you don't have to tie things off in this bow. It's just basically pinching, putting together. So what I've got is I've just got a two inch uh, wired ribbon. How cute is that guys? Ho, ho, ho. Um, and the nice thing about this crazy bow or funky bow is you can take your ribbon uh, leftovers, put them in a, in a Tupperware or a storage container. And when you come to a time that you wanna make a bow, go in and just pick five or six of those out and you can make a really cool bow like the one I'm gonna show you. Now, I'm cutting this one at 40 inch lengths because I want it to be a bigger bow because it's gonna be on the top of this tree. But you can make it any length you want. I wouldn't try to go super small with this type of ribbon. That would be pretty labor intensive and uh, might end up looking a little messy. The other important thing is to use um, not only different patterns in your bow, in your ribbons, but also to do some different lengths. That's also helpful to give it a different type of dimension. So we're gonna take this, the way I've done it is, um, I don't have a cutting mat, so I just lay a, a tape measure out locked on my table, and then I get my ribbon. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a remnant. We're not gonna be able to do that because this is a 40 inch. Let me grab another one. Sorry, I thought I had enough. So you take your ribbon and I lay mine out flat against my tape measure. And then I look at the 40 inch location. And it doesn't have to be exacting, so don't, don't get all uptight about how exact you make it. And then just cut it off around 40 inches. So as you can see, I've already pre-cut a bunch of my ribbons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this guy. The, the thing you wanna do is, is you take one end and this determines the, the loop size of your bow. You can go small completely, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do 20 inches. So I'm gonna take this end, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna find the 20 inches on my table next to my uh, tape measure, and then I just fold it in half. So you have a loop like this, let me show it to you. And all you do is pinch it in the middle and that's your first bow. So how great is that? You could do it 10 inches, you could do it um, uh, you know, 10 and 10, or you could do, let's say we want to do it a little bigger and we're not happy with that. Let's go ahead and pinch it off at 22 and then that's how big the loops are gonna be. So you take it, you pinch it together like that and that's the first piece of your bow. Then you grab another one of your ribbons, you lay it down. Um, you can either lay it down and do it that way or you can take the piece, because you, you now have this one as your, your scale, fold it over, pinch it in the same location and then just make sure, now see how that's a little short? I just pull up a little bit more of the leg to make sure they're equal and then pinch it in the center. And then we move on to our next ribbon. Ooh, I grabbed two. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just pick what you like. If you have different uh, varying uh, widths of ribbon, you go ahead and you know maybe plug in one after this. Again, it's just all how you feel and what you like. So, pinch your ribbons and then flatten it out. Now I'm gonna grab one of my thinner ones over here. You can see this is an uh, inch and a half. Again, it's gonna add a little bit of different dimension. Pull it up, make sure it's the same, it is. And then just kind of straighten everything out. Looks like you're making a bouquet of ribbons. I'm gonna grab another one that I have over here from my piles, put it down, pull it up, pinch and go. Let's grab this green one here, put it in your hand, pull it up, lay it down, make sure it's equal. 
and then pinch and go. We'll come back to this guy. He was the first one we used. Lay it down, pull it up. Make sure it's the same length. Now, if you have a, a single-sided ribbon, you need to make sure that you have the right side up showing. I have another really pretty hunter green over here because I have hunter green on some of my elf's uh, hats and their and their the bottoms of their jackets. So we want to kind of pull that color in. So pull it up, make it equal, pinch and go. We'll come back here, grab this one because right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I never do my bows with even numbers. I always use odd numbers. Now you have to make sure you're laying them down far enough because when you zip tie this and you go to stretch it, you don't want your loops to flip out. So then you lay down that piece of ribbon. And this one's a little shorter. Pull it up a little bit more. Pinch and go. Let's go ahead and put one of these green striped ones, which has that nice dark green color in it, which will really do nicely with that small green ribbon that I just put in. Pull it up. Pinch and go. Make sure it's the same length as the bows around, because that's going to make a nice rounded bow for you. Um, did that guy, did that guy. Let's grab this lime green. I'm going to lay it down. Put it in there and bring it up. Make sure it's equal. Pinch and go. Let's do another white, because I do like that, having that option of all those different varying widths of bow or ribbon, I mean, in my, in my bow. So we lay it down, pull it up, and pinch. Let's grab another, another one of these striped ones. You see how it's coming out, right? Looks like a bouquet of ribbon. So lay it down, pull it up, make sure it's the same length. And then pinch and go. And then we'll go ahead and put in one more green over here. We're going to lay it down like that. Straighten it out. Bring it up. Pinch and go. And then I think I want to add another one of these on this side. So I'm going to lay it down, pull it up, make sure it's equal, <laughs> pinch and go. All right, so I have my bouquet. Can't live without zip ties when you're doing decor and decorating. So you just put your zip tie around it like that. And I'm going to bring it around. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. Make sure it's nooked up right underneath all of your, the base of your ribbon bouquet. Now at this point, I always grab a, um, a floral wire because I find it's the easiest way to put it in my tree. So I have a floral wire here. I put it through like this. And it's probably hard to see that floral wire, but I'm pulling it up just like I would a piece of ribbon. It's right here. And then you get your zip tie and get aggressive. Just pull it as tight as you can. Alright, so this is the beginning of our bow. So then you just start taking it and you start fluffing all your ribbon loops and arranging the bow how you would like to see it when you put it in your tree. If things get crumpled up a little bit, it's easy enough once you put it in the tree to be able to rearrange your loops and have them look however you want. So I have this big, beautiful bow now that I'm going to put at the top. So we have all these crazy legs, right? I know often you guys want to put your ribbon and just have it nook through your tree. And that's great for some things. Um, not every tree has the same type of theme, the same type of feel. This one, kind of funky. A little fun, a little whimsy. So what I'm going to do when I get my bow in my tree is I'm going to come back and arrange these out on my legs and they're gonna come out like this, off the top of the tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this in the tree, and then at the end of this video, I will put the finished product, uh, a shot of the finished product, but it's really easy once you get your zip tie on, we're gonna go ahead and just clip it off short. Thank goodness for wire cutters. No reason to struggle, don't use your fabric scissors. Fabric scissors are no-no, we do not use them. 
So then I have this ribbon, this uh, wire here, and then all you do is you start fanning out your legs in every which direction. And I cut all of mine in different lengths because I don't want them all to be the same when they come out of the tree. And the best way to do that is when you are actually attaching your ribbon. Some people like to pre-cut their legs. I like everything to be a little different. So I go in and I just make sure all my legs are facing up. You might need to twist a few just to make sure that they're showing out the right way when you put it on your tree. And then you, I'm gonna go now, get up the ladder, I'm gonna wire this in, and when I'm done, I'll just take another little video so you guys can see exactly how it looks. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. You can see how this tree looks. Now this isn't our reveal because we're not done yet, but I'm gonna take you up and let you see how the bow turned out. How adorable is that? So you can see how we came in and we cut the lengths of ribbon, excuse me, all different. And we just kind of arranged it on the top of the tree. So that was your tutorial on a funky bow. Go out there, try it yourself, get those remnants. Don't throw away that ribbon. You can use it for so many cool things. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And as always, we so appreciate you guys. Have a great day.